Hi, my name is Albert Dunford, and in this video, we are going to look at the new machine models that were included with PSIM version 12, which features a major update to the motor drive library. Uh, we, the first one we're looking at here is the squirrel cage uh, machine, induction machine, with a high frequency input impedance. Uh, this uh, models uh, the high frequency Thevenin equivalent circuit for, for things like the winding to ground impedance, eddy currents, skin effects. You can uh, look at uh, common, mo common mode uh, noise problems with this model. And importantly, uh, it's designed to be used or meant to be used. You need that high frequency input impedance if there is um, a length of cable between your inverter and your machine. Uh, you will be needing that high frequency imp uh, termination impedance uh, to deal with uh, the trans transmission line equations properly. So using this in combination with our transmission line models, our cable models, uh, you will be able to uh, properly study uh, those, that high frequency interaction between the inverter and the motor uh, with the switching events over a uh, lossy or or a uh, non-ideal cable. Uh, so look for a tutorial video that deals with this machine model in a little bit more detail. We're just sort of introducing uh, what's available right now. Uh, the next model here is the PMSM with spatial harmonic effect modeled. What this one does is it uh, basically we bring in the, the uh, low order harmonic information from the back EMF. If you run this motor by just spinning the shaft and measure the back EMF on the terminals, uh, you should be able to extract this harmonic content. And then uh, this provides, when we drive this machine model, it gives us that low frequency uh, torque ripple and current ripple associated with the internal magnetic structure. Uh, the nice thing with this model is you do not need to co-simulate with like a finite element analysis uh, program, such as JMAG or ANSYS or Maxwell or Magnet. Uh, this gives you that harmonic content formation by staying and also staying within the PSIM motor drive library. Uh, so more on this mode machine model in another tutorial video. Uh, look for links to those videos on the top right of this one. There should be like a little eye that pops up. And then you can click on that and it'll take you to those videos when they're ready. Uh, the next one to talk about is the six phase PMSM model. Uh, not too much to talk about this one. It's a six phase PMSM. Put in the parameters and away you go. Uh, and then the last one here is, are these three uh, switch reluctance machine models that are now uh, nonlinear. So complementing our existing uh, SRM models, these ones now include a flux uh, torque lookup tables uh, so that you can model the nonlinear uh, aspects of these. Okay, so that's it for this video. Don't forget we've got the, the nonlinear PMSMs and induction machines in here already. And these uh, machine models are going to be of great help, I think, in your simulations. Thanks so much for watching. Check back for detailed videos on the induction machine, high-frequency induction machine, and the PMSM with the harmonic content. Thanks so much. Bye now.